Hello and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Fallout 3. Last time, we uh, a traveler, eh? dealt with Mr. Burke here, and I will get to you later. Let's get right back into things, shall we? Got a problem? No, I don't have a problem. Do you? So, Mr. Burke can no longer blow up the town. But we need to make sure that no one else can either. Hey there. <laughs> I always feel kind of nervous with Nathan walking around with a gun all the time. Anyway. Disarm the bomb. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth. Moving on. And the power Lucas, where are you? There you are. Give me my caps and a house. I must be getting slow in my old age. Thanks for saving my hide. Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Hmm. I have to go. You stay safe. Now about this bomb. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Sweet. Level up. Nice. Gotta go now. Later. Alright. We'll put speech up to 25. Uh, small guns is fine for now. Bump up science a bit. And lockpick. Let's see. Thief, five points to sneak and lockpick. Don't want swift learner. Yeah, we'll go with the thief. Now, we'll leave Moriarty for the time being. And let's go speak with my favorite character in the whole game. Hey, Mara. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. It was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. Good riddance. That's terrible! But it'll be great for a forward. So in that sense, it's great. I think you're gonna like it out here. And here's the armored suit. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, wanna help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Pay? What sort of pay? And what sort of work? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and 
I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Sounds good. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice. Like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Sounds like a great idea. Can't wait. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Yeah, we'll do the radiation one first. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books. But I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. All right, I'll get it radiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach, or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Gotta go. Have fun out there, okay? Now, this one's pretty easy, if a little bit boring and long-winded, so, uh, be back in a sec. ...into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom, come, bestow your... I must be glowing at this point. Oh, that's the wrong way. Yes? So in case you miss it, just stand in the pool down there and drink. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, I'm better in the hole through the floor. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I'm about as ir irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. If I listen closely, I can hear my jeans crying. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. But I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> Red regeneration. Sweet. Let's continue with the first chapter. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking what are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. 
I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check this uh, super duper mart. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? All right. What do you got for sale? What do you need? Anything and everything. So let's see. I'll keep all that for now. Um. What do you have in the way of weapons? Not very much. Okay. Gotta go. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Mm hmm. Right. Now, before we head out to uh, Super Duper Mart, I'm gonna uh, stash a few things in my new house. What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Hello, what's worth? Right, first of all, let's see if I can repair anything. Nope. Uh, we'll put on the armored suit. Security armor, helmets, nice. Hmm. See it. Um. This would be good to have as a boost if I need extra lockpick or repair. This would be good backup armor. So I'll dump the tunnel snake and the jumpsuit. In fact, I put the helmet on. And, oh, yeah. Be good to read that. Cool. A very nice to make your acquaintance. I'm your new Robo Butler. Mm hmm. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. So, BB gun. And we'll keep the baseball bat. Don't need that, don't need that, or that, or that. Yep, so we've got backup armor and a utility suit. And that's it. Now we've got one more stop we need to make. What's happening? Around the back of Megaton. be able to just bat any mole rats or anything. Is that a blue fly? Alright, I'm already in the face. Whoa. Come on. Die. A die. I smash your face in! <laughs> Give me your meat. Any more of you? Yeah, there's one down there. Open a hollowed out rock. Awesome stuff here. Note added. As requested. Yes. Here's the stuff you wanted. If anyone asks where you got it, say it was a gift from your grandma. Happy hunting. E. We now have a sniper rifle. In pretty 
crap condition and we only have two magazines for it but we have one that's the main thing now off to super duper mart looking pretty spiffy and uh... I think I'll um, end up keeping this 10 mil for quite a while because it's a pretty stout sidearm it does decent damage and it can take a beating plus it's almost full repair so I won't have to tinker with it for quite a while Of course, if I do come across something better, I will swap it out. But there isn't really much in the way of better conventional ammunition sidearms than the 10mm, except for revolvers, and they're not all that common. I'm surprised I haven't come across anything yet. Here's the super duper mark. Whoa! Bullets! Which land merchant? Headshot! Whoa! This is hopeless. I just took both of them down with less than two magazines. I'd say that's pretty good. It's alive. The waistband is reborn. Um, are you crazy or something? I've seen the ground reaching to the sky with its outstretched arms. The waistband is reborn. You are Damn. off your rocker. Oh, and now you're dead. Okay. 32 pistol. Wasteland merchant note. Let's see what he's going on about. Trading caravan log. By tomorrow, I should reach the Green Mountain. The people there may be weirdos, but hey, they trade great stuff for the weapons and ammunition, so who am I to complain? Last time I was there, they told me that someone named the Great One wanted to speak with me. And that I should drink some of their homemade hooch and join them in some kind of ceremony. I'll probably take them up on it this time. I haven't had a drink in a good while, and I'm a day ahead of schedule. Weird. Shotgun? Very least it'll, uh... Fetch good price. 10 mil rounds. The only thing this thing's good for is selling. And I won't take their armor because that's quite heavy. Let's see. Uh, yep. Look at colors. Nice. Now let's see. How good is that 32? Pretty good. I've only got one cylinder for it, though. It'll be a good backup sidearm if I need to. Because at low levels, the 32 pistol is in many ways superior to the 10 mil, just for the fact that it can shoot faster, and its ammunition is more common. Okay. Time for sticky mode. I see you there. Okay, you don't see me. Over we go. Alright, bulk up mine. 
use your pistols. It's ammunition. Uh, nice. Guess we shall take the vodka. It's very good stuff. Knife. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we'll take the money. I'm only taking select things because... Really? It's not a good idea to fill up your inventory with just random shit. Food storage. Awesome. We could return to Moira right now. But... I want to find some more stuff. Ooh, I see you there on the radar. You're moving this way. Now you're out of radar. Whoa. Let's see. Can I snipe him with a pistol? Nope. Whoa. Hi there. You are not going to drop a dime on me. Neither are you. Okay, shit. Nope. Where are you? Whoa, there you are. Boom. Yes, I know it's in poor condition. Alright. Anyone else? Okay. Thirty two rounds. Hunting rifle. Nice. Whoa shit. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Where is ya? I don't have my uh, silence one or hotkey. Now I do. Okay, you just got a pool cue. You're useless. There's two over here. Whoa. Hi there. Damn it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We need to give you a present. Catch. With your teeth. Okay. Couple of stims. Come on, get back. No. No, get off with that shotgun. Where are you? There's one more. Oh. Pathetic. <laughs> well, that did not go as planned. At least I got a combat shotgun. Ten no rounds. Nuka Cola. I'll take the key. I'll look at mine. Nice. More rounds. More mines. Grenades. 
rounds. Awesome. Alright, let's see about repairing some stuff. Let's see. Repair that pistol. Can't repair this one. Can't repair these. Sell them for a bit more. Repair the laser pistol. Repair this. Nice. The other magazines. I almost called clips. They're not clips. Mines. Ammunition. Don't need a steam gauge assembly. I do need ammunition though. Always need ammunition. Alright. Let's see if we can hack this thing in any reasonable time. Second try, nice. And power off. And we'll just use the key. Close that. Now, this is a bit of a treasure trove. Take that knife. But what we really want is back here. Lots of grenades. Circle tubing. Lots of supplies. Take the lunchbox just because. Ammo. Take all the ammo. Let's see. Nope, none of those. Okay, lounge is replenished. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Run maintenance routine. I'm gonna grab that. Always grab the employer ID. Ooh, right away. Loading personality. Roscoe R04 B9. Office helper. Running default office protocol. Air more. Loading daily agenda. Air more. Security breach detected. Please stand back. Okay. Hmm. Has it triggered the um thing? There. Damn it. Boom. Boom. Come hit the guy. Ah, uh, jeez. Boom. Do not attempt to flee. All right. Let's switch to something that can shoot a bit faster. Combat shotgun. Boom, boom, boom. You didn't need that head. Gotcha. Whoa. Knock it off, will ya? Shooting from the hip with the snuff rifle. Like a boss. Don't need a sledgehammer. Take that, though. Because once I get back to Megaton, I intend to uh, take another little side quest that will allow me to get bottle caps for scrap metal.
Okay. And it's night time. So. Let's see. Repair some more things. And now. Off we go to Megaton. And this episode is getting a little long at this point. So, thank you for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. Until next time, see you later.